What's going on guys? John with Bull Throttle Trading. Uh, today I just wanted to make a video uh, before the weekend, give you guys a little bit of an idea of some stocks to keep an eye on on Tuesday. So this is another set of stocks that have earnings coming out Tuesday before market opens. So depending on you know what happens with these earnings, it may open up some opportunities. So again, I wanted to share these with you guys so you could add them to your watch list and keep an eye on them and if that opportunity you know comes about then you were ready for it and hopefully you can capitalize and make a profit so if you guys are ready let's jump on in okay i got the first stock up on the screen here and uh, this is AutoZone, A-Z-O, right? Uh, so we can see looking at the 180 day chart, uh, we had this big dip here. This right here would be, you know, when the coronavirus came out. So, and we can see before this happened that we were kind of in this downtrend where we were, we broke below this support, right? So we can see we were really trading between this line here and like this line here like so this would be like our norm right so we can see that before COVID-19 happened that we started getting these lower lows and it came back up broke above the SMA line and then COVID-19 dropped uh, it did a really good job of bouncing back right uh, I think um, a lot of people when they were you know, furloughed from work or if they ended up having to get unemployment or whatever ended up happening, a lot of people were at home with nothing to do. So it's like if they had issues with their cars or something like that, I think, you know, it makes sense that people would now, you know, they have all this time to get this stuff done. Um, but, you know, they've done a really, really good job at bouncing back. You can see we're back in the zone now. We're above the SMA line, and the SMA line, this is what I like, is the SMA line is now starting to turn back up, right? So this is a very bullish, bullish movement. Uh, just want to pay attention that we're definitely on the overbought side, right? MACD, RSI. Our MACD looks like the momentum's starting to pull back. Um, so we'll see what this earnings statement does on Tuesday. And definitely keep an eye on this. <clears throat> All right, the next one I have here is Anaplan. And Anaplan did a really good job as well. So, you know, we had this bullish run going, these higher highs and higher lows, trading above the SMA line, right? Uh, COVID-19, big drop. Uh, we kind of had this double bounce here, right? At this support level, roughly. Uh, so we had this double bounce, and then we started taking off, and again, so now we have a very bullish trend going on here. We've crossed over the SMA line, and there's a lot of real estate here, right? We got a lot of room here, very bullish, uh, above the EMA line. The thing that, we again, we want to pay attention to is we are extremely overbought, right? So our RSI is very high right now. Um, now, that, again, that doesn't mean that this can't continue to keep pushing up. I just, you know, want you guys to, again, make sure to manage your risk. Be aware. Okay. Uh, the next one that I have here <clears throat> is Bank of Nova Scotia. Um, and this one, I just kind of put this on here. Again, they have earnings coming out. They did a really good job before COVID-19 of uh, playing in this little window here, right? Uh, not a whole lot of movement, big drop, um, where you've been getting, it looks like we're getting, you know, this resistance level here that we didn't quite hit, uh, and we've been getting these lower lows. So uh, I'm, I'm expecting an earning statement to probably not be what they're looking for, um, but Again, who knows? I, I don't really follow any news of what's going on with this, so they may have, you know, something good. And he, Here's the thing we want to pay attention to, right? So we, we've identified this support level here, right? And we're pulling back. So we're getting close to this 
this level of support. And this is important because if we watch, you know, the Bank of Nova Scotia come down and identify at this support again and we start confirming signs of an uptrend, well then this would be a good buy because if it starts picking back up, especially after this earnings statement, then we have about 20% worth of margin right here, right? So this is definitely something that we want to pay attention to. Uh, I'm going to set an alert and see if we get close to this line. So, um, yeah, as of right now, again, I, I, I wouldn't do anything just yet. Uh, we want to wait and see if we identify the same support. And if we do see it hit this support and start to bounce, then we definitely want to pay attention, right? All right. Uh, next up, we have Elbit, yeah, Elbit Systems, and uh, I like this one just because we, we, again, we had like a nice pattern here. Okay, we're starting to build back up towards this SMA line, right? So this is, again, now it's it's becoming of interest, right? So we've we've broken past this SMA line. Granted, the SMA line is still pointing downward, so. I wouldn't want to make a move on this quite yet. We can see that we have this support level right around here, right? And we're at the top of where this resistance is. So basically right now we're looking at a potential loss of 5%. But if we come down to this support again and bounce back up, or if the earnings statement comes out positive and we break above this, right? then we can see that we had a next resistance point of about here. So if we see that this breaks above this and continues up, then this gives us now a potential for 7.75%. So uh, again, this is why it's important to wait for confirmation, pay attention, see what it does. Don't just buy in now hoping because again, we have this potential for about 5% loss. So, <clears throat> all right, now we have Hibbit Sports. Uh, this is another one that had a great bounce here after COVID-19. So we've broken above the SMA line. Again, this SMA line is still pushing back, but very bullish trend happening, right? So we could probably expect that these earnings won't be as bad as they were planning on them. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Uh, we can see here though, we're very high above the EMA line, right? So there's there's definitely some space here and it's also oversold, or I mean overbought. So we can expect to probably see a little bit of a pullback, uh, but again, just because it's an overbought, it doesn't mean it won't continue to keep pushing. So just do your part at getting in at a good buy, right? Make sure you have an entry point and then either a stop loss point or a limit order point that you're ready to lock in profits or take your loss. Have a plan and stick to it. All right, now I have uh, Viomi Technology. Uh, this one is, you could probably see why I'm paying attention to it. So this is a little bit lower cap, which I know that there's a lot of you out there that this is in your wheelhouse, right? Uh, we have a lot of potential here, um, but we've been having this uh, resistance point right here, right? So, and we're, we're still, we haven't confirmed a reversal yet, right? So we had this initial push back or pull back and then a big push up and then pull back again and then we slowly got back to where we were. But now we're starting to pull back again, right? So we, we definitely want to see what this earnings statement does because if we can identify a support and we have these higher highs, right, or higher lows, and we identify a support here and we start to push back up, we can see that it's very oversold, right? So we, we definitely want to keep an eye on this and wait for, again, wait for that confirmation that we found a support and uh, see if we can continue to you know, get higher highs and higher lows. All right, and lastly, we have American Woodmark. 
um, an aware, American Woodmark had a nice steady um, push going forward, right? And we can see like this, this would probably be a good stock for somebody who's looking for a swing trade, right? We can see that it's just a nice steady slow push up, which is what you want for something long term. So after COVID-19, we had this big drop and then uh, we've kind of been, direction hasn't been super clear, right? So we got higher high, higher low, lower high, higher low, higher high, higher low, lower high, lower low. So the direction's definitely been unclear, but we've been pushing back. Like we can see here that we kind of have this, whoops, this bit of this pattern, right? So we're starting to see this slow uptrend. And if we look at this angle, right? And we look at this angle, the two of those are pretty close to being parallel, right? So this is a steady growth pattern. And this is something that we want to pay attention to, right? So this could be something that would be more of a longer term investment. And that's why I included this on here. So if we have a nice positive earnings statement here and we continue to push up and we can see this gradual, you know what I mean, increase continue like it did in the past, then this, you know, this would provide some value, right? So we can see it may not be a huge return, but I mean, depending on how long you're willing to hold it, we have a potential to climb back up about 50%. So again, for a long-term trade for 50%, this could be something that you may want to pay attention to. So let's definitely keep an eye on this and see what happens with these earnings statements. Uh, at that there, I, th I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, remember, uh, I hope you guys have a very safe Memorial Day weekend. I hope this helped give you some idea that when you come back on Tuesday to have some, some things to put on your watch list and, and hopefully make some money on. If you found any value in this video, please hit that like and subscribe button and help support me so I can continue to make more videos like this for you guys. And uh, I hope you guys all end it in the green note. Bye.